Uh, in this video tutorial, we will see how to integrate txt 180 SMS get integration in PHP. We will write some JavaScript code to send messages in bulk as well. So here is a quick uh, demo, then we will understand how to uh, walk txt 180 to send messages and for communication via TX, uh, text marketing. So uh, guys, uh, it's working 100%. It's tested uh, uh, tested API. Uh, we are working on working on last 10 to 15 days, and so response is very well, and so delivery time is also so much fast. So here you can type if you wanna uh, send messages uh, in bulk, you can add a number like this. This is the country code and any numbers you want. So this is first number. You can add like this. So in a bulk, you can add numbers like this and any message you can type here hi and it's a it have a unique features like you can add any placeholder like this um, id so any random id it will be <coughs> added here next thing if you want to add multiple messages for rotating messages uh, for uh, preventing the blocking of any kind uh, blocking things of something uh, if it's not delivering you can add multiple mess messages like uh, uh, you can add a separated by start symbol so star message one and if you want to add a message to like this you can add and also you can every uh, every message and every line with the separated by starts so you can add uh, any placeholder like id like this so all the ids will be automatically unique when it delivers and most important features you can control its speed its its, its speed is you can see here that 10 milliseconds 25 milliseconds one seconds and maximum is 12 seconds so this is the interval times where your numbers will switch one to another so this way you can use and uh, uh here is a total numbers suppose you have a five four numbers and may, maybe a ten thousand numbers it will count or uh, ten thousand numbers here and how many delivered and how many are failed all the reporting you can uh, monitor here uh, on sending response so, so this will this black window will show you a response uh, whatever response will generate by the epi provider uh, txt 180 all right so let's see first uh, uh, here uh, txt 180 here is the official site uh, try them is for free 15 days free trials 50 messages dedicated text messages no contacts no cancel fees so you can read terms and conditions uh, and if you see the prices very well uh, according to your budget so you can buy here uh 500 credits is 80 dollars per month if you want to add 5000 50000 credits you can see 625 uh so here are a good price if you want to send messages in an efficient way all right so if you like i'm not I'm gonna say you uh you will purchase but so uh it's depend on you uh, and this price is okay or not but it's good all right so all those things uh, i have shown you uh it's a uh, it's about to overview how this sender works so now let's understand uh the actual part of the sender which is php and javascript so this is my sender you can see here let me zoom in it's already created so in previous uh, parts uh, in all my videos you you have seen uh my javascript codes and how we are making logics to sending messages in bulk as well so uh, you can check out my previous videos as well but most thing in every uh, sender uh, one file is unique which is multiple underscore underscore number dot php and its code is a uh, different so let me open this file this is my netbin ide and here is a multiple number underscore uh, multiple numbers dot php so let me zoom in so you will see clearly so phone number and message we are getting by the post method this is the first step we are getting if it said phone number it means phone those numbers are set it means this form have uh, numbers list then we are getting phone and messages from a javascript to means client side to and server side we are transferring data uh, by ajax request i will show you in a minute but first this is multiple underscore phone dot php file and this is main file we are uh, pointing we are adding api <coughs> uh, and we are connecting our app to uh, api provider all right so next thing is auth key and account id auth key and account id you will get uh, from txt180.com after sign up here Second thing is uh, 
second thing uh, sorry uh, for uh, taking a time uh, because actually i'm talking to someone else uh, sorry for that uh, just uh, let's continue next thing is a keyword keyword you can add any keyword i have added nails and short code this code will get from your account so this is auth key account id keyword short code those are the details you can get from the api provider and this is a group id it's not necessary some are optional and some are uh, required so command is a send authentication is all about to send from uh, txt 180 those are the credentials so we can get to sign up uh, txt 180.com uh, and you will get all the details from there then we are adding the xml request so this is this way we can add messages this is the xml request means you can add you can write messages in a uh, html form end of xml auth key in this auth key all the data we are adding command account id short code keyword message and phone numbers and here are xml close so all the details we are connecting text 180 y xml so this is the method we are connecting to uh, uh, txt 180 y xml so now we have understood then we are using we are writing the curl operation curl is the method for connecting any other server okay so here are header so content type is a json then we are calling the functions we are transferring data and we are sending data to the txt 180 server so why this url or so curl in it it means initialization and we are sending the data to this and these are the uh, these are the uh, conditions uh, like a curl header curl phrase connect http headers senders return transfer is one so all those is the necessary parameters which we have set it there and result is execution means we are uh, executing all our uh, uh, curl operation and sending the data to this one so you can call this function curl executions in channel all right so this is the xml header this is the basic things you have uh, i'm gonna uh, showing you so you can understand what uh, this api provider uh, uh, giving a features and sending the messages by txt 180 all right so this is the json decode data we are sending if message is okay it's response by the array means whatever response getting from the api provider so this is the json and json uh, if have array is okay means message has been sent and response is d i will behind my own uh, json data if response is d d means message delivered okay so our sender will show here once again so here message has been delivered a message this number has been delivered and will also show you a numbers as well all right so next uh, response is message is failed if from here to here message is delivered and here to here if message is not delivered then message has been fed so this logic we have a built in a javascript so all the features whatever response it will so this is for developers f and d but you will see the message delivered and message not delivered so uh, we can uh, we can get the response uh, a success or failed as well next thing is you have to uh, go to main.js and you can create main.js many times i have shown you this file but one more time let me show you so message has been delivered you can see if the response is delivered json response d means message delivered so it will show message delivered and current message current number sorry current number current number whatever x y z so message delivered any number and this exclamation mark and right, so message has been delivered if message has been failed it means failed let me zoom in so you will see clearly sorry for that message failed f means response is failed then shows current message message failed and current number sorry current number message message failed and current message okay and if it has any unknown errors means message not delivered it's blocked by the networks and any carrier providers so it will also show you a message failed and unknown errors so if you want to see uh complete uh this uh, file how I, actually i have explained all the details of this file on my previous videos uh, because the old standards have the same function uh, functionality and some features are uh, unique maybe but it's a uh, most of the time it's the same so pretty much we have uh, shown you and also there are lots of features you can send by excel file so you know uh, next video we will understand we will um, i will show you so pretty much i have shown you if you have any questions and doubt you can uh, write a comment i'm here to help you so thanks for watching once again have a nice day bye bye